Hello guys and welcome back to this channel where we talk about electronics, technology and reviews. Today we see how to create this Stream Deck which can help you if you use editing software such as DaVinci Resolve, Premiere Pro, Final Cut Pro or any other software such as Word, PowerPoint, Excel or everything else you use. You can save shortcuts and recall them simply by pressing a button or using a juggle. If you remember, some time ago I published a video where I built a Stream Deck with Arduino Pro Micro. I explained how to design the electronic circuit and how to design the printed circuit board using KiCad software. I used the PCB printing service offered by PCBWay, which is also the sponsor of this video too. In the video that you can find the link above, you will also see how I use the Fusion 360 to design the container and the keys. And you will also see how I managed to print them with a Voron 3D printer. You will also see all the steps necessary for assembling the component and solder them onto PCB. In today's video, however, I want to completely change the string deck case and customize the keys with icon used in video editing software such as DaVinci Resolve or Final Cut Pro. Obviously, you can create the icons you prefer and which give you a correct meaning to the function you assign to the various keys. And to conclude this quick introduction, in the second part of the video you will see how I create the source code for Arduino Pro Micro and how to customize the Stream Deck keys as you prefer. Before starting with the video, if you like my content, I invite you to subscribe to the channel and activate the bell. Ok, so let's get started! I used Fusion 360 to create a new case more rectangular and elegant than the previous one. I keep the position of for the screw and the height of the lower case in transparent material. I add graphic labels to get an idea of the finished product. I use the Voron 2.4 3D printer and before printing I do a simulation with Clipper main sail. And then I proceed to print everything with the opaque black PLA filament of the Overtools brand. PCB Ways offer the best custom PCB prototyping service, but they also offer injection molding, 3D printing laser and CNC cutting with their instant quote feature. You can simply upload your model and choose from SLA, FDM and SLM, which is a laser mounting a metal powder to make metal parts. They also have an instant quote feature for their custom PCB. So go ahead and try it right now at the PCBWay.com. I checked that all the pieces have been printed correctly and then proceed to add the, the M3 insert for the screws I insert the knob ring I remove the printed circuit from the old blue case
Now insert the printed circuit into the new case and secure it with all the M3 screws. I also fix the encoder. Using Photoshop, I printed all the labels I want to apply above the button and the information label for the most used shortcut in DaVinci Resolve. Now I add a protective adhesive film on top of the printed sheet. I cut out uh, of the labels now I apply a double adhesive tape and I start applying all the sticker on the keys. Let's now quickly see how to program Arduino Pro Micro to work as a keyboard emulator. In the description we'll find the link to the source file with a detailed description of the code. Now I just want to do a quick introduction. Then I assign the library necessary for the operation of the encoder keyboard emulator and the three NeoPixel LEDs. I define some variables such as the total number of LEDs and the pin that manage them. I define all the button and encoder pins. The empty bouncing variable is used to prevent a key from being read multiple times. Thank you. 
Insta-tap, I initialize keyboard, pixel, and mouse. 